Now the directions to this problem says the graph of f of x, f of x is shown. Sketch a graph of f prime. All right, so I'm sketching a graph of f prime. Now looking at this graph, I notice several things that are going to help me draw the graph of f prime. First of all, f is always increasing. See? From this end to this end, f is always increasing. Remember, this is a graph of f of x. So what does that mean about the first derivative? Well, if you just, if you just look at it here, you can see that no matter where you draw a, a tangent line, the slope of that tangent line is always going to be what? Positive. So f is always increasing means f prime of x is always positive. In other words, it's always above the x-axis. That's the first thing that I notice. The next thing I notice that um, I have an inflection point right here. That means that uh, f double prime is zero here. And if f double prime of x equals zero right there, that means that f prime has a maximum or minimum at that point. So let's think about this for a minute. If I think this is an f double prime number line and I have an inflection point at zero, um, I'm concave up beforehand, so f double prime is positive, concave down after, so it's negative. But this tells me how f prime behaves. So if f double prime is positive before zero, f prime will increase and then f prime will decrease after zero because of these signs. So this is representing f prime in each of those places. So that means that f should be increasing before and decreasing after. Now these ends here are also very unique. So if you just take a look at f of x, so as x goes to positive infinity, f prime of x goes where? Well, you have to think, okay, if I keep drawing slopes all along here, what's happening to the sign of those slopes? Well, it's uh, going to zero. And the same thing I can say as x goes to negative infinity. What's happening to the slopes of my tangent lines? Well, they're going to zero, they're flattening out. So it goes to zero on both ends. So I have it increasing, decreasing, and on both ends it should go towards zero asymptotically. So if I was to draw a graph, well, it also we could approximate the slope of this line that runs right along here, okay? Because that's going to be the height of where we draw our derivative. So if we were just going to measure this, it looks like, I mean, it looks like it crosses approximately here and it crosses up here at 24. So I have a rise of 24 and a run of minus one and a half. So my slope, at x equals zero is rise over run. So let's see what that number is. 24 divided by 1.5. And again, this is all eyeballing. You know, there's no guarantee here about anything. I mean, we're just getting the approximation. So it looks like at uh, x equals zero, my output for uh, f prime there should be about 16. So if I draw the picture in a different color, let's say I'm going to draw my derivative in a color purple, should look like this. It's going to cross up here at 16, 10, 12, 14, 16 approximately. And it should be decreasing afterwards, but yet go towards zero. So it's going to do something like this. And then it's going to do the same thing over here. Again, that's an approximate drawing of it in purple, which is uh, quite accurate, could, you know, given just such a small graph or a simple graph, but that's how that works.